Goodness gracious, as we say here in Texas, welcome to the Monday Morning Sidewalk. From wherever you are, maybe you're in your car headed for the Guadalupe River. Maybe you're in your truck headed for downtown Houston, and maybe you're in your SUV headed for downtown Dallas, Texas. I hope you take the time to plug this in, hit play, and listen to the Monday Morning Sidewalk. Let me tell you what we got going on today and for the rest of today. (laughs) Rain in north central Texas, I'm telling you. We've had an inch in the last eight hours. It's about 6 o'clock Central Standard Time here in Texas. And uh, we're trying to hit your Monday morning commute. The big news last week was a delay in the trout stocking in Oklahoma. Uh, Those of us here in north central Texas, we go to Oklahoma to catch a few of those little little, uh, synthetic fish. Now, what do we got? They stocked it. They said they were going to wait until December first and then voila last week they did stock fish so what i'm seeing is a little bit of political pressure from the folks there at oklahoma wildlife department and there's going to be more pressure put on because the price they're paying for synthetic fish is just crazy they're gonna have to find another place or stop stocking trout probably in oklahoma which would have an impact on their economy, obviously, as well. The Texas trout stocking dates are out, and the locations keep in mind, people. I'm going to put a link to that down in the description. Keep in mind, these fish are stocked with the idea that you will take youth, the youths of America in Texas, Texas America, take the youths fly fishing or fishing not necessarily in that order and get them hooked on the sport that's why this program exists so nothing sticks in my mind like seeing a fat cat standing in the water at Lella and (laughs) smoking a cigar stuffed it to his waiters like a sausage Casting for these little synthetic fish and catching them instead of taking his son or grandson or whatever. he Maybe he, he could be childless. I don't know. But anyway, the fact that uh, old men chase after these fish is, I find, very amusing and uh, downright pitiful sometimes. But that's my opinion. Ah, the days are going to get a bit bunched up now, now that we're staring straight into the holidays. Weather here has been mild. For what I hear, the coast is dealing with an abundance of water inshore, and that has fish spread out and hard to concentrate on. They're hard to find, folks. You're going to have to do some searching. When they got more water, they got more places they could be, and they get much further in. If you want to know how to get super skinny in Texas, check out my YouTube channel, TexasFlyCaster.com, and Click on the video that is about shallow water skiffs in Texas. It goes through all of the different features you can add to get a little bit skinnier. And I'm not talking about that diet drug. The one spot that I'm hearing about is the land cut. So the land cut is where at Port Mansfield, um, it's a channel cut there for the uh, boats, mostly recreational, to go in and out of that bay area. And uh, if you want to catch fish in that area, speckled trout right off the drop-off on the channel side. And uh, it's not like you're going to see schools of them, but you can blind cast. And there's so many thousands and thousands of speckled trout there that uh, you will probably catch one or two dozen. I'm not guaranteeing this. Don't hold me to it. One or two on fly. And uh, it's a blind cast. All you want, as much as you can take. I love it down south. If East Texas is your thing, though, Be sure to check out Flyfish Fork. This guy's uh, doing it every day almost out there in the eastern part of Texas, specifically Lake Fork, you know, hence the name Flyfish Fork. 
and uh, he'll I'll put a link to him, some kind of link down in the description as well, and check out his YouTube channel. You want to like and subscribe there. Be sure you subscribe. This guy's very prolific on the shorts. If you like shorts, short shorts, he's got them. He just don't let him wear them. <laughs> As for the holidays and Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales, I would not expect much from the big boys at the big fly shops. Uh, We're hunkering down, getting ready for 20% price increases from those guys pretty much across the board as China tariffs kick in. Are you happy yet? It's coming. It's coming, people. I'm telling you. But I will be throwing out some deals in Pop's Fly Shop, and you might just be able to snag a deal on a fly mat, especially on those special days like Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Those are the days to pay attention. Go to the website, www.texasflycaster.com. Click on the, well, whatever you want to click on. Click on it all. But there is a store in there and uh, lots of merchandise, lots of artwork. You would be surprised at the artwork you'll find there that I've curated for my art gallery on my shop. There are a couple more videos coming out this week, but if you have any ideas for content, be it concepts, complaints, uh, gear, interview people, I love interviewing people. Step up to the microphone, will you? You guys that step up, I appreciate it. Appreciate all you guys out there actually watching and listening and and listening to this podcast. Uh, We're really enjoying the, I'm enjoying, I don't know if we are, but I'm enjoying the uh, fun of audio only podcasting the Monday Morning Sidewalk. I think it's going to stick around a little while. But if you do have any recommendations, I'm good to go. It just needs to be timely and somewhat close to home. People, I don't want to drive and drive and drive. Texas is huge. And maybe we can do it over the phone. Interviews over the phone are great as well. If you want to call in any information on fish where you are, if you're brave enough to put that out to the masses, send, give me a call, I'll leave a message, and I will run it. It's mighty, mighty slow in this part of Texas right now, people. And I've lost a few fly friends through this last election. I don't expect them to come back because... <laughs> <laughs> they may not be able to come back once these four years is up. But, you know, the truth is I didn't have a lot of fly friends to start with. And I've made a few. You make a few, you lose a few. It's kind of like playing cards, isn't it? Thanks for listening this Monday morning to the Texas Flycaster Monday Morning Sidewalk. This has been going on for many, many years. You can find the written sidewalks, which are, you know, they're written. You can't, you can't read and drive. Have a safe travels across Texas, into work, or wherever you go today, tomorrow, and the rest of this week. I love you guys. I love fly fishing. This is why I do it. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. See you later.